This is Gadi Zamir. He's an Israeli-American artist who lives in Cleveland, and I wanted to ask Gadi what he wants his art to do as far as social change, what he thinks of his art, what its effect, what is the effect he wants it to have. So Gadi, talk about your art. What do you want it to do? Okay, uh, so uh, first my medium is wood burning. I uh, use a soldering tool, a blowtorch, and uh, fabric ties to create imagery. I use the grain of the wood to create the imagery from. Uh, usually uh, I have an idea as to what I uh, want to illustrate. And uh, mainly it's to raise a social awareness regarding many topics such as uh, uh, war, domestic violence, uh, Things that can relate, that I can relate to, that I've experienced, either experience of seeing other people experience in their life, and I saw the effect, the emotional effect of uh, either, uh, you know, domestic violence or PTSD, war, and so I dealt with some of the issues myself, and I tried to soothe myself by creating imagery that will illustrate or relate to someone else's pain. Uh, for instance. Um, we had an event, we have a gallery, Negative Space Gallery downtown, and we had an event uh, concerning domestic violence, and I created an, Im an illustration of a story that I thought that the victim would go through. Uh, you can see an image online. Um, Where do you go for that? Uh, thinknegativespace.com, and that's our website. You can friend us on Facebook, and um, also then you, you'll see a lot of imagery there as well. And you can read about the event we had, it was a couple of months ago. Um, What's the relationship between your gallery and the Black and White Cafe? Well, the Black and White Cafe we use as a platform um, for other artists to have the opportunity to share some of their skills and some of their vision and uh, to contribute to the uh, livelihood of the neighborhood by creating, uh, sharing what their creation, music, uh, poetry, film, uh, acting. We just are uh, in the process of uh, uh, curating uh, a play regarding AIDS patients. It's called Fades and it's coming up in May. Um, uh, Sean Silbert and Lynn Brooks are uh, wrote, up, wrote, wrote it. And uh, it's in the process of, uh, we have audition, uh, not audition, in rehearsals already and it's almost there. So that's one of the ways that we try to raise uh, awareness in, and to contribute to our neighborhood. So even though you're an artist, you believe in multimedia presentations? Yes, and not only that, I get inspired by it. I see someone else's work and, and uh, you know, it's, if it doesn't do something on a social level, it can do something on a personal level and everyone can be inspired by someone's poem, someone's short film, someone's drawing and that's how I live, that's what I get inspired from. Uh, I try to uh, go to as many art shows as I can, see as many films, music. Okay, um, what do you like best about America? Okay, first the opportunities. Um, even though it seems very hard and uh, economically and you know but opportunity wise there's always an opportunity and if someone want to pursue something uh, he will find the ways to make it happen just like my work if uh, i use the knots and the wood and and find objects to create something so is the universe provides you whatever you need to create your you know masterpiece or to create whatever you intended to create have you created your masterpiece yet? I'm in a process. Okay, thank you. But you know, uh, yeah. Leonard Cohen said that, you know, uh, sometimes when you want to create a masterpiece, you should forget that you try and, you should dive into the masterpiece and then you'll have a masterpiece. Meaning that be engaged in it, believe in it, and then you'll have a masterpiece. Is that what you do? Yes. Every day? Yes. Me in and your, mom, in, in, me, me and among other, uh, you know, uh, negative space I couldn't do uh, without Michael Kurtz, Ann Vaughn, Sarit Zamir, Amelia Gonzalez, Sean Silbert, Ben Morrison, um, and a lot of other volunteers that, uh, Jose Vasquez, 
that, that on a regular basis uh, give their time, money, efforts uh, to help others. To, you know, they believe in what I do and they're doing it alongside with me. Uh, they curate a lot of shows, uh, a lot of events, a lot of fundraisers. And, and I just want to say that if anyone has an idea or how to use, utilize our, our venue and to promote their idea or whatever, we always open to ideas. Thank you, Gotti. Thank you. Okay.